What's up, you guys? Some here with a new video today. I'm here with you guys my undefeated first place uh, Dark Lord uh, Locals deck profile. You guys wanted to see it. Um, I totally YOLO'd this deck yesterday at Locals. I was going to play Minerva like I always do. Got tired of it. Thought, you know, I want to try something else. Dark Lord is just a deck I had on the side. I was only needing one more card. It was, I needed one more Rota. You know, shout out to my boy Kevin. He hooked me up. Uh, at the last minute, so I said, screw it, I'm going to play Dark Lords, and I did, and I swept the whole thing, was only undefeated, I played nothing but ABCs and one Barrier Statues, uh, I'd be Barrier Statues was just insane, because it's like almost impossible to win, but yeah, the deck was insane, I'm just going to get into it, very basic, uh, shout out to Corey Roca, uh, I got a lot of inspiration from his list, so, um, that he topped uh, the ARG with, so I'm just going to get into it, um, so we'll start with the basics, so, three Dark Lord Eggshell, that's your, uh, your, basically your D-draw, discard that in a Dark Lord card, draw two cards, really, really good, level 10 helps you make uh, the big, uh, not Gustav Max, but the other one, the, the one that uh, trains use, uh, three Nastin, like your second best card, it's your uh, Megalo, discard two Dark Lords, summon it, they all have the same effect that you pay a thousand points, copy a Dark Lord spell or trap in the grave, shovel it back to the deck, you pay a thousand and it gets the effect, really really good, you don't have to pay cost since it's just applying the effect, it's not activating. Uh, three Superbia, really good card obviously, uh, you know you contract this back, in defense mode this brings back another Dark Lord, really, really good, especially when you can just make rank 8s, and uh, three Dark Lord Zerato, uh, three Dark Lord Zerato, really really important uh, because of your trade-ins, but also because this card is just incredible, its ability to write Geki the board is so important in your OTKs, since Zerato doesn't die until the end phase, you basically just write Geki them, make a bunch of rank 8s with the Zerato so it doesn't die, and then you just win because of that, so this card was definitely MVP and out to a lot of problematic fields. Uh, so that's it for the Dark Lords. Uh, for the rest of the support monsters, three Vanity's Fiend. Card's broken. A lot of decks can't out it. It basically just says they can't play Yu-Gi-Oh. I dropped it a lot. Um, it was not, you know, as broken as I thought it would be, but it was definitely amazing when I dropped it. It got outed a couple times, but other than that, I would definitely play this. I don't play Christia. I don't think Christia is good. The reason I say that is because you can only get it out of your hand with trade-in. And yes, it does have really good synergy with Superbia, but I feel like this is just better. This is a single tribute, so you can just get it like straight up on the board and just win with it because you don't really use a normal summon in this deck. So this was really, really good. I definitely pl uh, keep playing these going forward. And uh, the MVP package was three Speedroid Teratop and one Talking Board. A shout out to my boy Garrett. He blessed these, the blessed Teratops. I never, I only, one game I dead drew the talking board, but that was it. This engine is amazing. Before, I wasn't playing this at all. I was just playing like a bunch of big guys, and the deck bricked worse than Monarch's bricks. So, this was super important in the deck. It helps you make Dante to mill Dark Lord cards. Helps you make Totem Bird to negate spells. Helps you make Grand Pulse to pop stuff. I don't have a Break Sword, but Break Sword would also be in there if I did. So, this package was amazing. I definitely suggest anyone that plays this deck uh, plays this engine, because it really, really helps you out. It's free summons. It's tribute fodder if you do need to tribute, and Dante is just really, really good in this deck. Uh, last monsters were two maxi. Really good cards. Uh, so that's it for the monsters. Spells, we have three of the Rota, Banishment of the Dark Lord, Search Any Dark Lord card. Amazing. Shout out to my boy Kevin for hooking me up with the third one. It took me forever to find the last one. Uh, three contract, Monster Reborn. I mean, I don't need to say anything else. It's crazy. Uh, three desires, uh, staple, obviously. Uh, three trade-in, three allure, and an upstart. It basically feels like you're playing with a 10 card deck. Honestly, you flow through this deck so fast. It's kind of funny for a deck that has so much draw power. I've never had a deck that, like before, it used to brick so much, but even with all the draw power, at times it can still brick because you'll draw like weird combinations of cards. But but yeah, and then uh, just the last spell is one soul charge. Card's broken. And then uh, my two traps were just one rebellion, one enchantment. Going forward, I'm not sure if I'm going to play this card. It really wasn't that great, but I see where like stealing a monster is good, but I felt like overall I would have rather had another rebellion because even against Barry stages at least it's an out to them so yeah so that's it for the main deck very basic 40 cards uh honestly i don't think there's anything i would change except the enchantment it was good it was solid um uh, the, the whole deck just flowed really nicely so so it was good uh onto the side deck uh, two Denko Seca, use this card to single-handedly come back. I lost game one against Barrier Statues. Game two, I went first, summoned it. They couldn't play, so card was amazing. Uh, two Gamma Seals, card was underwhelming, but it was in there. It was an eight. It was a way to clear problematic boards. I think going forward, though, I want to play Winter Cherries. This deck has extra deck space to play Winter Cherries, so that might be what I do. Two System Downs, used them against every single ABC player. Uh, three Twin Twisters. Self-explanatory against the barrier statues. My starting hand game three was two twisters, two dark hole, ink shell, and I drew it to a superbia. So I mean, I just you know I had it because I just cleared the back row, dark hold the statue, and just you know went off. So it was crazy. And I drew contract off. It was broken. Uh, one right geki, obviously board wipes, and then just three anti spell for pendulum decks. 
very simple side deck. I threw the side deck together literally from what I had for Minerva and then just added like a couple like extra things. Uh, so side deck was good. Uh, extra deck, it's all jumbled, but uh, we'll get into like the like the main, I guess the main guys here. We have the we have the Galaxy Dark Matter package. Um, you never really use Dark Matter because you can't you can't really send because you don't play dragons. But we play it because it just gives you options and. Where is it? This guy, yeah. So these three guys. Um, I went. I went one step further, and I'm so glad I did. I played number 62, and number 62 single-handedly won me a game under Max C. This card, if you don't know, you you bring it out with two uh, level eights, obviously, and it when it attacks, it gains 1600 attack points. Because I went to 5600, I had that in a Nastin. My opponent was at full life, and I dealt 8200 because of this card. This card was broken, so I highly suggest uh, p try this card out. It's actually really really good um for the big guys i had one of this i made this against barrier statues card was just really really solid um you know it's a felgrand just a better felgrand i played gustav max just in case i could steal a game by burning um and then i played a bunch of eights one zombie stein card's amazing made it once just it's big just gets over everything one hope harbinger self-explanatory really solid eight one Heliopolis, non-targeting, it gets rid of problematic cards. One Alsei, this card's really good, being able to spin stuff. Just really, really solid effect. Uh, one, uh, I play number 15. I don't play the Spiders, but I play number 15 because this card can single-handedly steal games against, games against ABC. You summon this, pop two of their XYZs, they take burn damage, and sometimes it's enough to win. Uh, I played one Big Eye, only for the two Nastins if it ever comes up. This extra deck, like I said, is like super like open. Like I could cut a bunch of cards and just play Cherry's target. So that's probably what I'll do going forward. And then for the threes, one Dante MVP, one Totenberg. When I made it, it was broken. And one Grand Pulse, which I never made, but it was there. So yeah, so that was it, you guys. Very basic, quick deck profile. Um, I really like this deck. I think it's just, you know, it's really uh, underrepresented and I feel like with the right build with a lot of testing like you can get the flow of this deck. It draws so many cards and the monsters are just huge and you, your boards are just insane. Because you have a reborn that you can basically use twice per turn, it's just insane how big your boards can get. Having the ability to search anything is amazing and just, you know, this engine I swear is just like super important so you guys should definitely try that out. This card obviously will always stand the test of time is a very problematic card to get over but i really really like it in this deck and like i said the rest of these dark lords are just staple i don't play any of the other ones i don't feel they're needed i don't feel they they really contribute anything i would never play morning star i know that card is really good but you can't even get it out honestly so i feel that this list was perfect and i'm just i like i said i would probably just change the one enchantment possibly to a second rebellion so yeah hope you guys enjoyed the deck profile if you did smash that like button 50 plus likes will be awesome for the next deck profile uh, i know i haven't uploaded videos in a while but in the new year we'll have a more consistent schedule so anyways i hope you guys enjoyed it give it a thumbs up and thank you for watching